Hey everybody. <coughs> Today I'm gonna bring you a little bit more information on the super skip. This is the double grenade jump that it saves a minute over the other bloodshot skip. That's a little bit easier and a lot safer. Now this grenade jump takes exactly four grenades, which is the exact number you'll have in any new game run. And if you mess it up, you have to either go for the normal skip, or you do have to go and just save quit so you can actually have four grenades, depending on where you mess it up. But anyways, I'm just going to get right into it. The first area that you're going to be going out of bounds is right on top of this little thing right here. Basically, the ceiling is just not solid in this area because the game developers really didn't think you were going to get up there, so we'll show you the first way to get up there. First way is to grenade jump right here, so. How you do it? You just throw it straight down, you wait until the grenade is just about to hit the ground, you jump straight forward and hold, or you jump straight up and hold forward, pardon me, and you should make it up here. If you get almost no height, it means you jumped late. If you get a lot of height but don't quite make it, you jumped a little early. That's that's your basic, that's the basic timing for that one. But there is a safer one because to do this jump, the enemy that spawns here and here will be on top of you and shooting you pretty, pretty readily. So you'd either have to kill them, or you'd have to be zero and be invisible. And let's face it, no one wants to run zero, anyways. So a safer way, which takes it doesn't take quite as precise of a grenade jump, and also you don't have to deal with any enemies at all, so you don't have any time restraints because to do it from up here. You can jump up like this, you'll probably want to run over here to de de aggro the enemies. Note, please do not damage any of the enemies over there, or they will take much, much longer to de aggro. In fact, they might not at all. So, you'd then have to kill them and you'd be on a serious time constraint before enemies started spawning. So anyways, the way to do it is from right here. Just like that. You notice I get a bit of a running start on that one. So basically what you want to do is throw it straight down just like before, and it's the exact same timing, but it's going to look a little different since you're going to be in motion. So you need to cross this big ass gap right here, you really do need that forward momentum, and running is a pretty simple way to do that. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I can say about that. Other than, these, do not aim for this area right here, because every once in a while, you'll hit the edge of this thing right here, and you'll just bounce off and you'll be sad, because you'll make the jump, it's just, you, you fell, and it won't have gotten you anywhere. So, from here, all of this is just not solid, none of it at all, and we're going to be making it onto this little platform right here. What we want to do is just run towards the edge here and jump right before we make it off the edge. So, Also, when you do make it over there, you want to keep your momentum and just spam jump and you should make it over to the other side. So, like that, and we're over. This is not, this is a solid thing, it goes about to the edge of that little thing. Um, but if you fall, you will have to use a grenade to get back on top of that little wall thing right there, and make it onto this. So, if you do fall, it's not the end of the skip, but it is the end of the super skip, if you're doing this in a new game setting. Once you're here, just run along this solid floor. Try not to fall anywhere below this thing, but this trash pile is completely solid. Here's a jump that's going to be a bit trickier for a lot of people. Because this is honestly one of the harder jumps of the entire trick. Um, basically, I've got one set up for myself personally. What I do is I look right around here-ish. 
so that I'm just looking straight up this slope. Kind of see it goes down a bit there, it goes down a bit over there. So I just want to be on this section right about here. So somewhere anywhere in the middle, standing right about at the bottom of the trash pile. Not precise by on any means. Just kind of throw it, run instantly. Good for a little bit. Sprint. Well, basically just sprint until you hit the invisible wall. Wait for like quarter second, almost no time at all, and then you're pretty much just gonna jump. And if you do that right, it should um, it should get you up here. Again, if you if you get almost nowhere with the jump, you probably jumped late. If you're a little short, well, even if you're a little early on the jump, you should still make it there. You'd know if you jumped really early, but. Yeah, that's, that's the basic premise for that jump. It is something that you're going to want to practice, because I've lost more super skips to that than I have the actual double, double grenade jump, which we're about to touch on. Definitely stand about there, throw it up the hill, sprint at the wall as soon as possible. Once you hit the wall, take a short pause and jump, and you should make it most of the time. Now, the double grenade jump. There are a couple different ways that you can time this. There are definitely... Definitely some good methods, and it's really whatever you're going to find is most comfortable for you. You can either use a timer. Uh, I don't personally know the exact timing, but I know it's somewhere between 3 and 4 seconds. So that should be a good start for you, but that's not what the method that I'm going to be teaching you. The other way to do it is just to kind of trust your personal timer, your personal metronome, and kind of just count is what I personally do, but again, not what I'm going to teach you because that is a little bit more feel-based and you do have to have some really good timing for that. What I'm going to teach right now is a... you're going to time it with melees. So, what we're going to want to do is stand right about here. If you stand too far up, it's going to bounce too high and you really don't want to be right on top of this, so just be right behind it. You don't have to be exactly in the middle, but... It, it's good to line it up because it, it does go downwards a little bit. Being at the apex of this pipe does kind of give you slightly more height, so it's definitely an advantage to do so. So, you're going to look straight up, and the basic key inputs is going to be hit G, and then the moment you press G, uh, your grenade button, whatever it is, mash melee three times. Yeah. And the second the um, third melee comes out, you're going to want to hit grenade again while looking straight down. So it's straight up, go grenade, one, two, three, grenade, and it's a standard grenade jump. Ignore that, because for whatever reason the second grenade didn't hit me. I'll, I'll show it actually working. That may have been because I held forward. Let's try this again. One, three. There we go. And that should get you that jump every single time. This is what you're kind of aiming for, and this is... But I'll show that one more time for you off and right and this is a very very precise timing it is extremely precise so it's hit your grenade button immediately start mashing um melee and as soon as you can see that third one go off switch to mashing your grenade button you could get another one off so we'll go one more time And we're up there. So that timing should get you there every time. I haven't tested it on every character, but I don't see why anyone would have a significantly longer melee animation in this one. Alright. Just to kind of sh finish this off to see what you would want to do is you do have to be careful there is sometimes a lip that you have to jump over. Run about to here-ish. 
and then jump at that scaffolding so you land on top of it. Fall down, it's not that big a deal, you can jump on this scaffolding, and it's whatever. But then, you'll just see this wall. It will be filled in, but you can still walk through it, and then you'll just release Roland from there, and you'll be good. So that is Super Skip, and that is probably the easiest way to actually get it consistently. So I hope this helps for most of you, and I hope that if the melee doesn't work for you, if it's not comfortable, then you could easily find some other way, because there are multiple ways to time this, and it's really whatever you find is the most comfortable for you. So, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And I hope this helped. See you guys next time.